Hello, hello, hello. Yes, 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 yes. It's been forever. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. But I'm here. I'm here now, and that's what matters. I actually just wanted to hop on here really quick and just talk about the inevitable. <laughs> like what everyone is probably talking about right now, and that's this pandemic that we're going through. This is not the time to panic. This is not the time to get all caught in your feelings. This is not the time to actually just dwell on what's happening. Um, like, allow yourself to get depressed. This is not. This is the time to really tune into God. I see a lot of people saying that they do not know what to do during this period of time. I don't know if it's the type of life that I live, honestly. But I'm like, there's so much that I can be doing right now. There's so much. There's so much that can be done. And like, not just in terms of like my personal life, but in all aspects. I don't know if it's just because like I'm involved in so many different things. But in my head, I'm like, okay, I could develop new products for created. I can actually clean up my website. I. I can balance, I can reconcile my, my finances, both for the business and for myself. I can write songs. I can clean up my phone. I can clean up my contacts. I can do a course. There's so many courses I've wanted to do. I can film so many videos and actually edit them and actually post them. Because it's not that I don't film. It's just like that I get caught up in the editing and uploading thing. It's not happening. <laughs> I could be doing that. Like, there's just so many different things that can be done. And, and like, if you really start to really dig deep, one thing that is really important that we should be doing in this time is communing with God. Like, with everything that's going on, especially in the pandemic, the person that we should be looking to is God, first and foremost, like, just clinging to him, just looking to him for that guidance. There's so many things in the word. We can be diving into the word and really embracing it and like communing with God, really getting deep. And we're just so caught up with our normal day-to-day -day schedules that we don't recognize that there's so many opportunities that this carnal world has given us, has taken from us, I should say. Um, especially when it comes to work like we spend so much time going to work and coming back from work and then just sleeping because you, you drain yourself with so many so much energy that you don't get time to spend with your family your friends and now that we have that opportunity to many people it seems like a death sentence why is that like this pandemic has brought so many things to light in terms of how skewed our how skewed our world is what's fellowship what's companionship what's bonding like people are actually stuck with their families and it and it's more of a crisis than the pandemic like how is that even possible so i want i want us to really really take this moment to reassess really take this moment to reassess our lives because if it's spending time at home has become the worst thing that could ever happen that's not a good thing for humanity what happened to spending time with your family what happened to bonding this is a time now that you being home with your spouse, you guys could find out so many things about each other that you, like, what happened with that project at work that you said you started? How did that go? Like, play games. There's so many different things that you can do. There's so many. Our, our world has just become Netflix and social media prime video like we go to work we come back we sit down and watch tv we go to bed and that's pretty much what our world has become and and now 
that the work factor has been removed we can't seem to find anything fruitful to replace it with how how does that even happen how does that even happen so yeah i know like, this wasn't really a structured talk um it's just a little rant ramble whatever but i really want us to think i really want us to think about what this world has become why is it so difficult for you to stay at home with your family why is it so difficult for you to find something to do i mean okay so school is out build a business plan balance your finances make goals like there's just so many things you can do reorganize your closet i know some of you your closet is in a state of disarray i know i know it i know that some of you have not spring cleaned in like 12 years there's so much you can be doing and the thing is when you when this time is gone you're gonna be like dang i don't have no time to do anything use this time wisely use this time wisely please i implore you use this time wisely so that's all i have to say today that's my two cents i i don't know like at the end of the day i could be wrong <laughs> but that's my two cents i think we need to reevaluate i really think we need to reevaluate our lives because this is messed up this is a mess it's a mess it's a mess okay that's all i have to say today have a great week <laughs> stay safe wash your hands wash your hands wash your hands clean your doorknob i do not know who needs to hear this but clean your doorknobs wipe off your bag clean your computer clean your house mm, mm. i know i'm i know i'm preaching today i know i'm preaching to somebody today so <laughs> okay and it's here's no though guys really stay safe during this season take time to reflect don't don't see self-isolation and quarantine as a death sentence See it as an opportunity. See what God wants you to learn in this time. Use this time to really dig deep. Alright? Peace.